To the rest of the world, Ursula K. Le Guin was a groundbreaking author, National Book Award winner, multiple Hugo Awards, Pulitzer Prize finalist, but inside this home on Northwest Thurman Street in Portland. She was, for me and my sisters, first a, a mother and secondarily a writer. She was also an activist. A lot of protesting in the, in the 60s and 70s. But it was here, just down the road from Forest Park, in a house surrounded by trees, Le Guin wrote and wrote. She needed to write. It was her, her love, her need, her discipline. Novels, poems, letters, a blog, much of it from a little room at the end of the hall. Well, this is the study that my mother wrote in. Shutting herself away, sometimes for hours. This was one of her early typewriters. And letting the day-to-day -day worries fall to the wayside. She was, by her own admission, not an amazing housekeeper, and she was very conscious about, you know, not doing the laundry or not getting things perfectly clean if that was going to eat away at her time to, to practice her craft. Le Guin and her family moved to this house in 1960. It was a place to raise her kids, to write, and to speak up for her beliefs. During the Iran-Iraq War, for example, the Oregonian would publish a uh, count of uh, fatalities every day, and she uh, hand wrote out the number in large text and posted it in a window that faces the street here. In 1993, she dedicated a project to her neighborhood, Blue Moon over Thurman Street. Street like a river, lives like fish. Minnow kids flash by, trout souls rise. Everybody's nose upstream. A photo essay chronicling the lives of people living nearby. Come for, come for a walk with us up Thurman mm -hmm. and see what's to be seen and listen to some of the voices too. One day soon, this house will be opened up for others to experience the magic that captivated the great Ursula K. Le Guin. We'll have a residency program here for writers from all over the world with an emphasis on writers from the American West. The Le Guin family will be donating the house to Portland nonprofit Literary Arts who will transform it into a place for writers to work and live. Be a chance to be away from their day-to-day -day lives and to live in Portland and to be focused on their work exclusively. Le Guin knew that sometimes you have to set aside the everyday things. She understood that what writers need is a place that is quiet, somewhat private, and separate from the day-to-day -day fray. She was involved with literary arts for more than 30 years. When the residency opens up, a council made of writers and literary professionals will choose who gets to come here. The writers will get a stipend, and they won't have to complete anything while they're there. It just provides space and time, right, for a writer to come and work and live and have space to dream. But they will be required to be involved in the community in some way, the way that Le Guin was. And it's a way of talking about Ursula's legacy as sort of a citizen, writer, artist, but also somebody really engaged in the day-to-day -day life of her community. That legacy that her family hopes will live on do the writers who eventually call Thurman Street home. And I do think that houses have spirits and that spirit, you know, lives in this house and I hope we can continue to keep it there. Ashley Koch, KGW News. By the way, there's no timeline yet on when the residency is going to open up. Sure sounds great though. The house still needs some renovations. Literary Arts is raising money for the effort right now. You can donate at literaryarts.org.